There is beautiful people getting involved for a good reason, trying to say to the EIB that they should stop to finance them and saying the same to the World Bank and all the huge corporations who are gathering at the World Water Forum. We have some actors. Actors will be animals, people from local communities. We have also a river there that will be the main actor of the day. Let's cross our finger. We're here celebrating the 15th annual Day of Action for Rivers and Life. Um, this is one action among over 100 actions in more than 40 countries around the world. There are thousands of people protesting today, um, holding creative actions, calling attention to the fact that we don't need large dams anymore in the world, um, and also calling attention to the fact that corporate-led initiatives to improve uh, best practices such as the hydropower sustainability assessment protocol uh, are just greenwash. There's a large conflict of interest in tools such as these. I'm here to let the international people know and advocate for no dam on the Mekong River mainstream. We uh, suggest them to reconsider and to make another decision that better for the future of the local people uh, living in, in the Mekong Basin. We need a more uh, strong consensus and strong commitment that uh, no dam uh, left for the free river and for, for, for the uh, next generation in the future. We have established many big dams and this doesn't work. We still need energy because we cannot use these dams in, in an efficiency. We cannot develop while we are killing our rivers. We want to keep our earth alive actually. This is the main issue. It's a strong signal today that the world is sending, again thousands of people, um, that something is wrong with the energy model and we don't want to return to creating large dams uh, as a false solution.